In this video, we will review SiriusXM's fish mapping sea temperature information using a SIMRAD display. Let's start by clicking on the chart icon on the home screen. Select menu in the upper right hand corner of the screen or from the hard keys. From the menu, select overlay from the choices shown. On the next list, select fish mapping. Then select fish mapping options from the main menu. At this point, we suggest turning the legend on as you will find it useful while viewing the fish mapping layers. Next, select View. This menu page shows the primary fish mapping layers. From the menu, select Sea Surface Temperature Contours. The next menu allows you to enable the contours so they are overlaid on screen. From this page, you can also select the temperature range you would like displayed. Notice when the temperature range is changed from 34 to 90 degrees to 76 to 80 degrees, how the contours change. Adjusting the range allows you to highlight specific temperatures, which your target species prefers. Sea surface temperature contour information is updated every three hours. Then press menu to view the contours on the full screen. The red contour line shown represent the sea surface temperatures in areas across the screen. These contour lines show noticeable breaks where the water temperature is changing from cool to warm, attracting bait fish. Use these contours to help locate your target species based on their preferred temperature range. The number shown on the contour line is the temperature along that line. A new line represents where the temperature has changed by two degrees or more. If you look at the legend, you will also notice that the areas with cooler temperatures are shaded in light red, and the areas with higher temperatures are in darker red. Now let's go back to the menu and select Sea Surface Temp Front. Then press Menu to view on the full screen. This layer allows you to see the estimated strength of temperature fronts. These are areas where significant temperature changes create distinct boundaries between bodies of water. This information is updated every 24 hours. Steep temperature changes or fronts concentrate nutrients which attract bait fish and also creates barriers to fish movement. The location of strong and very strong fronts are good places to find game fish. Sea surface temperature fronts are based on a scale from one to four, one being a weak front, two being a moderate front, three being a strong front, and four being a very strong front. Ideally, you are looking for strong or very strong fronts, as these are typically the most productive areas. A good tip to remember is to use several fish mapping layers in combination. Note, where there are strong and very strong plankton and sea surface temperature fronts close together or overlap, these will be the most probable areas for finding game fish. Now let's go back to the menu and select 30M subtemp. The next menu allows you to enable the contours so they are overlaid on the screen. From this page, you can also select the temperature range you would like displayed. Notice when the temperature range is changed from 50 to 68 degrees to 50 to 80 degrees, how the contours change. Then press menu to see the full screen. This feature allows you to view the water temperature 30 meters below the surface. This information is updated every 24 hours. Different species of fish prefer specific ranges of temperatures. This information allows you to identify areas with the preferred temperature range of your target game fish in the area below the surface where they are likely to be hunting. As indicated by the legend, the areas with the cooler temperatures are shaded in light red and the areas with the highest temperatures are shaded in darker red. For additional information and specific fish mapping feature videos, please visit our fish mapping website at SiriusXM.com forward slash fish mapping. For videos specific to your brand of display, visit our marine video library at SiriusXM.com forward slash marine library. And for even more about using SiriusXM Marine, visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash SXM Marine. 
In addition, please follow us on our social media sites. If you have any questions, feedback, or would like to share a story, please email us at marine.support at SiriusXM.com. If you have specific questions about your Simrad hardware, please visit www.simrad-yachting.com forward slash help dash dash support. Thank you for joining us.